Hey YouTube, what is up? I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a cool feature that another community contributor has put together for mass transit. As I've discussed in other videos, you know, the SQL transport is great. It lets you use Postgres as a database or SQL Server. And with the latest enhancements in 8.3 for the job consumers, including recurring jobs, scheduled jobs, all that stuff, there's a lot of great capabilities in mass transit. And one of the things that people had asked for is like, what kind of UI do I get with this thing? You know, how, how, do, I, how do I see what's in these queues? Well, one of the community contributors has started a project and I wanted to bring some attention to it. It's called Rescue. And Rescue, it's on GitHub, it's open source. Uh, it was originally Net 8, now they've bumped up to Net 9. Um, but it, it is a, it is a, it's the start of a UI for the Postgres and SQL Server transport. Um, and let's just kind of go in and look at it. So I've got the, uh, I've got the job service, uh, job consumer sample up here. And it's currently using um, um, Postgres. And I wanted to show you what I did to add rescue into it. So it's a simple dashboard to configure. You just say add rescue, you tell it which engine you're using. It has its own migrations for whatever things it's gonna store in the database. And it picks up the SQL transport options and pulls that connection string from there. So pretty simple to set up, just a few lines of code. It's a single NuGet package. And what that gets you is this dashboard, which gives us a view into the queues that we have configured. Now, I wish it had a dark mode. That would be awesome, but we don't get that today. So, hey, you know, they do accept pull requests. Um, but you can see I have the job consumer sample running here. You can see there's a number of different queues that have been created for the different consumers. You can see ready messages, error, dead lettered, scheduled, locked, what the auto delete time is on these temporary queues. So let's go submit a job and see what happens. So let's just go ahead and do another job and let's do another job and hey, let's do one more job. And now if we go back in here, we can see that we have the job table. We have one scheduled message because that's our recurring job. You can see we have what looks like one scheduled message in the job attempt. So I'm guessing that one of the jobs hasn't quite finished yet. Now that job has finished. So that looks like that's done. Um, the job tables keep track of the job sagas and job attempt keeps a schedules a heartbeat to check on the status of the job. So you're able to see that. Um, Let's go ahead and see if we can get one that's going to run actually longer than four seconds. Um, so now we can see there's three job attempt scheduled messages for those health checks. Again, this one is the recurring job that's scheduled to run every minute. Uh, and that's the thing about uh, the recurring job support in Mass Transit. It just uses the underlying scheduler. So whatever's scheduling your messages, in this case, the SQL transport, it's the thing that's doing the work. Um, so yeah, so it works really well. You can see that things are ticking off. Um, that job is back in there. So yeah, just a real quick short thing. It's called Rescue. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description to the GitHub repository for it. And also you can look at the job consumer sample. It has it built into it. So worth checking out. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.